Chromophone 2 is modeled on the idea of acoustic resonators that are played using either a mallet or the signal generated from a noise source. There are a variety of resonator types to choose from, made from different materials, and two resonators can be combined and mixed together. And there's one of two modes that can be used, parallel mode or coupled mode. In parallel mode, both resonators are excited by the sources, and the output signal from the resonators is a simple mix between the output of both of them. In coupled mode, the resonator A is excited and the energy is transmitted to the second resonator at their junction point, and the interaction of the two, the bidirectional energy, is what's modeled, and it's a more complex sound. Let's take a look at the interface. As with all AAS instruments, sounds are organized in a program and bank configuration. Navigation arrows become visible when you hover your mouse in the appropriate areas. And you can also click on the bank manager here to manage programs and banks. Now we have three views. Play view, which we're looking at now, contains performance parameters. We have arpeggiator, controls for vibrato, for syncing, for doubling with unison voices and there's step sequencer controls over here, and there's a ribbon for triggering sounds with the mouse, and in the middle of the interface are a reduced set of effects controls, kind of like macro controls for the effects page. Now we have edit view, which is the heart and soul of how the sounds are shaped. Now this is used to alter the characteristics of the resonators, the two of them over here. We can choose between them and alter different parameters, and then we can work with the noise source over here and the mallet source and affect the parameters that'll shape those sounds. And we can also set this up here for LFOs and modulation to control some of these parameters. And here's where we choose between coupled mode or mixed mode, and there's the balance slider. Now we have effects view, which is basically a multi-effects module containing up to five effects processors. And this is also common to all AAS instruments. And on the play page, we see this subset of controls over here. Now a couple of conventions for the plugins. We can use any modifier keys at all to move the controls in fine increments. So in other words, that's regular movement. And if I hold down, for example, the shift key, I'll get fine movement. And that works with any modifier. And as well, we can turn individual modules on or off by clicking in the headers over here. Like for example, there, that little light indicates the arpeggiator is now on. Or in the edit page, we can turn the individual resonators on or off. And you can click anywhere in the module labels to do this. And finally, in the upper right, we can control the main volume output for the whole instrument, the polyphony, and the tuning.